Hello, Mr. Jesse. Hey, Manny, how you doing? I am wonderfully blessed as always, and so are you. And it's nice to see you again, though. I mean, last year I, I spoke with you for Boy State and the fantastic Boy State, and here you are with the equally brilliant Mayor Pete. So why Mayor Pete, though? Why document him? I, Mayor Pete has landed on the national stage, and I think a lot of us probably are asking ourselves, how did he get there? And this is the story of this film. Um, Pete uh, was the mayor of South Bend, not a traditional launch pad for a presidential campaign, but uh, I knew he was an up and coming star in the Democratic Party. I knew he was dipping his toe in the presidential waters. And we approached him and said, would he be willing to give us access? Of course, I'd followed teenage boys in Texas at Boy State running for pretend office. Here was a chance to see somebody running for real. I'm not sure we thought he'd get very far. I'm not sure he thought he'd get very far, but he is impressive. And he had a powerful message in that campaign, that message of belonging. And um, what you see in the film is it really resonates. You see where that message comes from in his lived experience as a gay man. Um, and I think you see that a lot of people across America, not just people who, you know, in the queer community, but many different people connect with him. Uh, and I think the way Pete cuts across all those lines um, was really interesting to me. So uh, I signed up from the right at the beginning. Pete had a staff of four, uh, a tiny campaign one office, a small room, uh, and it, it grew quickly. And it was just exciting to be on this ride and to see what it's like to be a human being and run for president. You know, what struck me with me the most, though, is, uh, you know, what MSNBC's Mika Brzezinski uh, defined him as. I mean, he's, he's like uh, the Mr. Rogers of the Democratic field. And I, I agree with that. Do you? <laughs> I think that, you know, Pete, I got to know him pretty well. He's a really a nice guy for sure. And he, kind of what you see is what you get. Um, I was curious about that. You know, we have this idea that politicians are one thing publicly and something else privately. And um, uh, but Pete really let, let me in. I got to know him quite well and Chaston too. And to see their relationship, you see that in the film. And um, I think that, you know, he's he is um, that guy. I think he's also really smart. And, you know, he's he's always probably thinking two or three or four steps ahead of the rest of us. And I think that's one of the reasons why you see him do really well in this very difficult process is he's, you know, he thinks fast on his feet. He's also kind of a deep thinker. And um, I think he's got a lot going for him. And also he's got some challenges though, too, right? You see it in the film, like he's, his, his advisors want him to be more emotional. Um, he isn't naturally like an emotional performer. He's, he's, you know, quite confident in himself, but I think this process demands that he be kind of all things to all people, and that's hard. And you see him try to work that out. Uh, and that's one of the things that was really interesting for me to watch in this film. I clap when you did that, actually, when that, that, that democratic debate, I'm like, wow, you know, I mean, you watch it, but you don't know the meaning behind it. You know what I mean? I mean, you know what, though, real quick, in the end, Mayor Pete is also a love story, hence my backdrop. Um, talk to us about that quickly. I didn't expect to, to make a documentary that was a love story. I thought it'd be a political story. But when I met Chaston and when I saw their connection with each other, this young, newly married gay couple living their relationship on the national political stage, um, it struck me as both really old fashioned. They go to dates at Dairy Queen, but also they're a gay couple. And this is new on this level um, to, to put their relationship out there, to test it, to test it with each other, but also test it politically in a way to, um, to see um, whether this will be an obstacle for people or um, something that really speaks to, for them personally, kind of where this idea of belonging comes from is growing up, in Pete's case, you know, not feeling like he fit in and, and wanting to create a space where everybody can fit. I think that was the campaign message. And you see where that comes from personally in their relationship and their love for each other. And I find that really moving and inspiring. And I hope audiences will connect with that, too. Oh, well, this this boy, this LGBTQ member from Indiana, thank you so much for this documentary. It's an against all odds underdog story told in a political backdrop. And you will want to see more, really. So thank you. Thank you again, Mr. Jesse. And good luck on everything. OK, thanks, Manny. Good to see you again.